Hey everybody, so I mentioned in my last video uh, about food and water on the trail that I purchased one of these Easy Lick bottles from Vapor um, for the dogs. And I just got it today and I got it out. Check out this nice custom print logo. And I filled it up with water and we're going to try it with the dogs and see if they can figure it out. But um, you just pop this cap off and that exposes the ball and you can see that the ball just pushes in slightly to let water out. Um, I also want to show you that this cap comes off by turning it to where this blue button is exposed and then you press the blue button and this pops off and then you unscrew this base to fill it. Um, and I did try, I, I tipped it upside down with just this on and it does not leak. And also if you turn it upside down with the ball, as long as the ball is not pushed in, it also does not leak. And then of course it comes with this cap to keep the ball from getting all dusty and dirty and all that. So um, anyway, I'm about to try this out with the dogs and see if they can figure it out. They've never drank out of anything like this before. so. We will see if they can figure it out. You wanna try this? Okay, get a drink. Drink, thirsty. Drink. Good job. Get a drink, thirsty. Here, let's move this carabiner out of the way. Now we'll try it. Okay, Hazel, get a drink. Good girl. Hazel's not so sure about it. Jaffy, come here. Jaffy, come. Come on. Come out and try it. Here you go. Thirsty. Get your ink. Oh, good job. Good job. Yeah. That's how you do it. Good job. So I think this is actually going to work out for us, maybe. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All done. We'll probably take it out on a walk around home and see if the dogs will actually drink a significant amount of water out of it um, before we take it out on the CT because I wanna make sure that they are going to stay hydrated with it. And of course we would bring our bowl, our collapsible bowl anyway on the trail on the CT because they uh, would be eating out of it. Excuse me. Um, anyway, as I was saying, I think we're gonna give this a go, but we'll probably try it out here at home first on our neighborhood walks, just to make sure that they're gonna actually drink out of it. I wanna make sure that they stay hydrated. And of course, I'm gonna bring their collapsible bowls on the CT anyway, because they will eat out of those bowls. So if this didn't work, we could always just use the collapsible bowls like we always do, and then this would just be extra water. I like the idea of having separate bottles for the dogs because I can keep better track of how much water they're drinking. And especially on this upcoming trip, there are going to be quite a few stretches that are maybe anywhere from, I think I, I actually did the math last night, um, anywhere between five and 15 miles. I thought there was one that was gonna be 20 miles, but it looks like 15 miles is gonna be the longest stretch, thank goodness, that's dry. Um, so no water sources at all. So it would be nice to have separate water bottles for the dogs so that I can just keep better track of how much water they're drinking. I actually really like this uh, bottle because it would be more convenient to be able to just tip a bottle upside down and let them drink directly from the bottle instead of having to pour it in a bowl, set it on the ground and all of that. Because when you're moving, not that it's a huge deal, we've been doing it that way and it's fine, but when you're moving, you know, it, it just kind of takes, especially with a heavy pack on, it takes just a little bit more time to unzip their packs, get the water bowl out, set it on the ground, fill it up with water and all of that and then put it back, put the bowl back in their backpack and zip their pack pocket closed. This would just be so much easier and I could probably fit this in my side pocket along with my own. 
and it would be easy enough to reach back and grab it and then tip it upside down for the dogs and give them water on the go. So it might be easier. And of course, you know, it doesn't sound like a lot. It doesn't sound like a big difference, but when you're out there at elevation climbing in the mountains and you have a heavy pack on, every little bit that you can do to make things just even a tiny bit easier is really significant. So I kind of think that this is gonna work out. I don't know without having done it. Um, and I may just pack these this next trip and see, um, because it's hard to really know if something's going to work until you just get out there with it and try it. So, but we will probably try it around the neighborhood on our walks just to see if in fact they are gonna get enough water out of it. But again, like I said, we can pack these. I can use them as separate water bottles for the dogs. And even if they don't end up liking this cap, then they're still gonna have their collapsible bowls for food and I can still revert back to the old way. But for now, I really think that we're gonna like these. I I'm probably gonna lose this cap. I'll just say that. Uh, I'll be lucky if I don't lose this cap. One thing I do love about the vapor bottles, um, even the ones that I've been using for the last decade, I love this built-in carabiner. I use this all the time. Um, yeah, it makes a funny noise, doesn't it? Anyway, I love this carabiner. I use it all the time. I often will, for the bottles that I'm, that I'm not regularly pulling out of my pocket as I move, like sometimes I'll put them in the top pocket, upper pockets. I'll actually use this carabiner and just clip it to the cordage on my pack so that it doesn't fall out when I lean over to, to fill water bottles or, or to pick something up or do something with the dogs or anything like that. So that carabiner is nice. And you, it's nice too, because you can just push it out of the way really easily if you don't want to use it. And also this still has water in it, so I can't demonstrate, but when the bottle is completely empty, you can roll it from the bottom up and then pull this carabiner down around the bottle to keep it from unrolling. I just ran and dumped it so I could show you this. You can't roll it when there's air inside the bottle. So you wanna let that excess air out. And with my bottles, all you do is flip the cap up. Well, with these Easy Lick bottles, all you have to do is press down on the ball. The air comes out. Press down on the ball and then roll up. Uh, put the cap back on. And then you can twist this to where the carabiner lines up with the edge of the bottle and then just pull this, pull the carabiner. See? <laughs> I'm gonna lose that cap. Anyway, uh, if you can see, so you roll the bottle up and then you turn the cap so that the carabiner is in line with the edge of the bottle. And then just flip this down and around the bottle like that. And it will hold the bottle folded. So like I said, I've been using vapor bottles for years now myself, and somehow I didn't know that they made these easy lick bottles until just recently. If I had to come up with a negative about this bottle right now, having not used it on the trail yet, uh, it would be this cap because I'm gonna lose it. Oh wait, ding, ding, ding. There's a lock on it. I thought I, I saw the threads and I thought it must do something. Okay, I'm not gonna lose the cap. Here's why. I just realized there's notches right there and right there, and there are lines and a kind of a thread on the inside of the cap on both sides. And those, if you put the cap on, press it all the way down and turn it it locks the cap in place. Hooray, I'm not gonna lose it on the trail. So that's that's awesome. I actually officially have no complaints about this whatsoever as of right now. Also, now that I have the cap, I can use the cap on my own bottles. But yeah, if you had other bottles, one liter or whatever already, then you could definitely swap bottles. This cap will fit on all vapor bottles, which is nice. And uh, 
I'm digging the option, the ability to custom, put your custom logo on there. The print looks pretty nice. Like it doesn't look like it's just gonna scratch off. I like it. It looks very well done. And of course, I'm gonna be folding this a lot. So I hope that doesn't decrease the life of it. So yeah, first impressions without having used it on the trail or anything. I think we're really gonna like this. I'm gonna give it a try and I'll probably end up buying more of these in the future with our custom logo on it because it looks great, don't you think? Love it. All right, just wanted to let you guys know my thoughts about this Easy Lick bottle from Vapor. I think it's gonna be a great addition to our pack. Thanks, catch you later.